They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel belt and radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. Everybody, welcome back to the show. It's your boy Chris D, aka Willy Wonka, aka Duke Man, back in the motherfucking house. Back with another stream of consciousness. Y'all might hear that fan blowing like a motherfucker in the background, and that is because it is hot than a motherfucker in Santo Domingo today. So I gotta get that fan blowing. But I come to y'all with bad news. And it's actually what I'm gonna be talking about in this particular stream of consciousness. The internet as we know it is gone. And I just realized it today. The internet that I grew up with, the internet that you grew up with, that AOL, e -re -re -re, and all that shit, that is gone. Remember when you could just go to different websites and look up information and you can go to Facebook and post whatever the fuck you wanted? You could actually see the posts of your friends and family. Remember when Instagram first started and all you saw was the people that you followed shits? It's like nowadays I go to Instagram, I'm like, who the fuck is this motherfucker? I don't follow them. And then they'd be like, oh, we, we figured you would like them. Motherfucker, I ain't asked you to do that. Stop telling me what I'm like. I know what the fuck I like. It's what I what the fuck I decided to follow. Twitter suggested posts. And if you don't get the fuck out of my goddamn face, stop suggesting shit. It's like people are or maybe this new generation is so stupid to where they don't know what the fuck they like. They don't know what the fuck they want. So they gotta be told. Welcome to this new internet. <laughs> A lot of people not even going to ever hear this motherfucking podcast because of how YouTube algorithm work. When I first jumped on YouTube, it wasn't like that. When I first jumped on YouTube, everybody had an equal opportunity to get their content out based on the tags that you put in your video. So like back in the day, I would do videos about the Black Madonna. All I had to do was include Black Madonna in my tags and anybody searching for that topic would at least get an opportunity to see my videos now because of the algorithms the youtube algorithms freaky than the motherfucker <laughs> when it comes to this dr content because because youtube algorithm is like a freaky black dude <laughs> and it's like i don't want to see no beaches i don't want to see no motherfucking people in the public hall, none of that shit. I want to see bitches with big asses and titties. And if you're not showing me that, I ain't watching. Motherfuckers be having 20, 30,000 uh, views on their vids. And then the title would be like, How to Survive in Santo Domingo. <laughs> and the motherfucker been here like two months. How the fuck you know? You barely surviving. Or a nigga be like, how to survive in Sasua. And it's the second trip. <laughs> like, my nigga, you still trying to figure that shit out yourself. How the fuck you gonna tell somebody else how to survive? It don't make no sense. And this is my point. We're at a point now where all of our content is being filtered through a keyhole. And... When you go to these different sites, when you go to these different platforms, then they are manipulating the experience based on how you was looking at the motherfucker yesterday. Well, maybe yesterday I was in the mood to be looking at big booty bitches, but stop showing me that shit. Like, maybe I don't want to see that every day. It's like, 
they don't give you room to be yourself. It's like they feel like, oh, you like this? Well, we're just going to give you this. That's not how the internet should work. It's not about going down the same lane every day or being trapped on the same application for three, four, five fucking hours. That's not how it should be. It should be where I should get on an application, scroll for a couple of minutes, and be able to put my phone down. Stop trying to addict me. Stop trying to get me to spend more time in these applications. Because I could be doing other shit. It's not healthy for young people. Definitely not healthy for young people. And then even for us older people. It ain't healthy for us either because when you scroll through your Instagram... First of all, every fifth picture is going to be an ad. Go do the math. Go to Instagram and scroll one, two, three, four, five. Before you get to the sixth picture, you're going to have done seen an ad. Like, how much money do these motherfuckers need to make? How much of our time do they need to have? Is nothing ever enough? I don't even fuck with applications like Spotify. Because I download all the music that I want to listen to and transfer the files directly to my phone. Takes only a few minutes. And then anything that I want to hear, I can just pull up the music player on my phone. So it used to be where I used to use Google Music, Google Play Music. No ads, no bullshit. And it worked when you was offline too. You ain't even... You didn't even need internet if you uploaded all your tracks to Google Play Music. It was a really good app. Until they went away with it. Until they start saying, oh, you need to get on Spotify. Nah, nigga, fuck you. Fuck a Spotify. I don't want to be hearing ads just because I want to hear music. YouTube's so disrespectful with the shit now. They play the ad before the video. They play the ad during the video. They play the ad after the video. They got these motherfucking influencers or content creators trying to be all sneaky with their shit. Man, I knew this shit was over when... when <laughs> this is when I knew the internet was dead. When they had goddamn Sammy the Bull Gravano promoting some motherfucking well wellness center. It's like, the fuck is this? And then you gonna put it in the middle of the video, like on some sneaky sneak shit, like you you just watching the video. That would be like me saying, uh, "I'm talking right now," and then like the next second, I just be like, "And if y'all ever think about y'all ever think about doing something with a wallet, fuck your old wallet. What you need is this Ridge wallet. Like if I just like bust into my spill about the motherfucking Ridge wallet, like in the middle of the podcast, can you imagine? <laughs> they so sneaky with it now." It's not enough that we got to watch the ass before, during, and after the motherfucking videos, which is mad diabolical because I'm the kind of nigga, like, if I'm listening to music, then I just let it run. So, like, a lot of the times, they catching me because I'm playing a playlist, like, especially around Christmas time. I got a Christmas song playlist that I haven't gotten around to downloading on my phone yet, and so I use YouTube. The playlist that I created on YouTube. Well, after every fucking song, damn near, here come a motherfucking Uber ad. <laughs> it's like, man, I'm just trying to listen to some goddamn Christmas music. I am not trying to hear y'all bullshit. I don't give a fuck that YouTube don't allow me to monetize. And here's the thing. I do. My channel is available for monetization. I have the amount of views that's required. And I have the amount of subscribers and watch time that's required. What's stopping me from being monetized is that I never sent back that f stupid four-digit code. And the reason why is because I don't want this content to be behind some bullshit-ass paywall. I don't want it to be where when you come to my videos, you got to listen to me talk about how awesome motherfucking Ridge Wallet is. <laughs> Or how awesome uh, Squarespace <laughs> I use Squarespace every motherfucking day when I'm sending files the fuck out of here. I don't. Unless Newports 
or raw papers uh, or marijuana in general want to want to uh, sponsor your boy, then y'all, I'm not gonna do it. That's not what YouTube is for. I don't. I feel like YouTube is for content. Just that, not ads. Fuck those ads, man. Like, if you want to put ads on artist music, okay, whatever. I get that because it's almost like a radio in that sense. But not on regular ass content. If I'm watching motherfucking uh, a nigga who did a video about why he think Anderson Silva is better than John Jones, why the fuck I got to sit through ads about Ridge Wallet? Come on, man. the fuck out of here with that bullshit. I disagree with it. And so basically that's my stance on that. Y'all might be like, the fuck is Chris talking about this week? Well, the beautiful thing about not being monetized and not having to answer to nobody is when I do these podcasts, I can literally talk about whatever the fuck I want and I ain't got nothing to worry about. I ain't got a agenda or I don't have to follow anybody's template about how to be successful because I refuse to play that game. I'm not going to get ate up in the beast and shit out. It's not going to happen for me like that. I would rather be a small content creator than a big content creator getting fucked in the ass, literally and figuratively. (laughs) I heard a funny joke I'll share with y'all before uh, I end the podcast. White woman, that was not me, that was the bed. If you heard that noise, I didn't fart. White woman is baking a chocolate cake. The little, her son, runs up to the icing, takes the icing, puts it on his hand, and spreads it all over his face and says, look, mama, I'm a black man. The mother looks at him, beat the shit out of her son, said, go show your father. So the kid with the icing on his face, go shows his father. Look, daddy, I'm a black man. Father whoops his ass. So go show your grandfather. So he goes to his grandfather, chocolate on his face. I'm a black man. Grandfather beat the shit out of him too. He said, now go back and tell you, go back and talk to your mama. Little boy go back and talk to his mama. And mama say, now, how do you feel about yourself now? Little boy said, I ain't been black goddamn 30 minutes and I hate all you white motherfuckers. <laughs> Rest in peace to Paul Mooney. <laughs> all right, that's all I got, man. You boys be safe. Wear that motherfucking mask. Catch you on the next one. We out. Peace.